Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel and welcome to a car that I don't think I would have ever driven unless someone had actually said something about us. So, here is a Morris Minor. What is it called exactly? Because I don't know. I know it's, Morris, it's a Morris Minor Series 2 Traveler. So, very, very interesting little British car. Now, I've had a series on the channel before where I was going to do pretty much uh, loads of random... That's just funny. Loads of random builds, and uh, they're usually called unusual drift builds. So this is uh, this is one of them now. I'm going to go ahead and use the Morris to try and do an unusual drift build. So as you can see, its engine isn't... Oh God, I need some glasses to see this. It's, it's, absolutely, it's absolutely tiny. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to go ahead and try to do this. Uh, this build on on this car because someone had uh, has suggested it to me so I was like you know what let's do it let's try and do a drift build on this uh, adorable little car anyway let's uh, let's give it a shot I think I think we can get this thing to be actually kind of good hopefully because it is uh, very very small it is very very light so as you can see as long as we can put some power into this thing and we can we can put this turbo rally engine in it and it's gonna be very very good. Um, I might go with full all-wheel drive just because actually you know what nah I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm gonna keep this rear-wheel drive and get rid of any unnecessary weight even though a lot of the framing of the back end of this thing as you can see it's better than wood which is very very funny um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this some racing tires um, actually no we'll keep it on sports tires we'll keep it on sports tires we'll go just as thick as possible with the wheels but we'll keep it on sports tires I know it's gonna have a good amount of power but I know for a fact that this thing doesn't need that much power to be able to get it to go sideways. I don't even know if I want to change the wheels. I kind of like the wheels on this thing. Um, unless we go change it to some specific wheels that will suit this. So something like this. I mean, what's the point then? Because they look the exact same as the original. See, I kind of want to keep this looking very, very close to stock. That just looks funny. It just doesn't suit it at all. But I want to keep this very close to stock on the exterior. Because I like cars that are like very stealthy looking when it comes to... When it comes to um, when it comes to them actually being like proper proper sleepers, and I kind of like that, so I'm gonna go ahead and probably keep this, like I said, very very close to stock looking in the exterior. However, once we do smash this thing into the floor with the drift suspension, oh my god, that just does not look stock whatsoever. But it does look very very funny, so I'm gonna go ahead and obviously put that on. I just wanted to go ahead and just skip everything else, just because I wanted to see what it was like. So again. It's gonna be very, very interesting to see how this thing handles. Uh, I'm gonna keep, like I said, the wheels the way they are. It's gonna be on the, this motorcycle engine. It's gonna be a sports tire, so we'll see what that's like. Because again, I'm not gonna have this thing have like a thousand horsepower, so I don't really know exactly what to be expecting from it. So this drift suspension just makes it look insane. Anyway, one sec. Let me let me do some stuff to it, and hopefully we can get this thing to be even better. So should I even put? this in. I mean, it'll help uh, my acceleration, my launch, my braking, if I do this. I think it's a bit too light now. But this does have 50-50 weight distribution. That is the best thing. It's probably why this thing adding a little bit of weight on the on the wheels, it'll get it to have a little bit of a better launch and a better grip. Because right now, I think it's probably lacking that. I forgot how much power it gets out of this thing. So 600 horsepower. Um... I might go with some race tires on it, just because I don't think this, these sports tires will be able to handle what I'm throwing at it. Or we could go with these vintage tires, but these are going to be worse than even the sports tires that I have on at the moment. So I think race tires is the way to go for this thing. So we'll see. If I have too much grip, I'll obviously downgrade. If not, uh, and this is fine, I guess we'll keep it like this. But it is a rear drive, so I think we should we should be fine. But yeah, here's our Morris Minor. 706 kilos and it almost has 700 horsepower so 670 horsepower from 29 that is a significant upgrade now hopefully this thing actually does drive really well as uh, someone has suggested so i'm gonna keep the tuning stock pretty much the way it is now uh pretty much with the standard drift suspension that's on it now uh, i will however go and lock the diff that's pretty much the only thing i'll end up doing with this car for now and then I'll go ahead and I'll change my setup accordingly, depending on to see how this thing drives, especially the gear ratios. Those usually get changed almost instantly, uh, but it depends on on how this thing will handle. So yeah, let's drive this thing. Okay, so obviously it doesn't sound stock. I decided to go to this. Uh, okay, I decided to bring the car over to the needle climb. The front is actually super, super responsive. Oh, it's very, very responsive. 
Did anybody notice that challenge that popped up? That literally resembles my license plate. Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second here. Did someone just see that challenge? That Force of Thorn daily challenge here. Drifto, are you serious? That's, that's, <laughs> that's almost the exact same as my license plate. That is jokes. Now, apparently this is supposed to be a very, very good car to drift. Oh my, I can even keep it a fifth. Oh my god, this is actually pretty good to drive. And the drift suspension definitely allows me to... To have this thing get some stupid, stupid angle and still save it. I don't know how much more slippery the road actually is now compared to... What is happening to my game? Oh my god. Why does it do that? Can someone explain to me? Can someone explain to me why my game decides to, to do that? Can I go into an offline session? Horizon Solo. Let's do that. Because I feel like the servers recently... I'm going to start from the from the very beginning again. I don't know why, but the servers recently just seem to have gone and taken a big dive in Forza Horizon 4. Um, so I don't know why that is. If someone can... like, I don't know if it's them or if it's me. I've never had a problem with internet on this game. Or any game, to be completely honest, because I have very, very good internet, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm happy with it, but I don't understand why recently, as of the past couple of days, it's just really, really bad. It's just really, really bad on this game. I'm just getting that same, same problem. But yeah, this is so good to drive. Now, like I said, I know that the road looks a little bit iced over, so I don't know if this means that because it's iced over, I have slightly less grip, but this feels... It feels normal to drift. It just feels like a really, really good car to drive. So the person that has suggested this to me said that he was doing this and he was... He was trying to use this, or he was using this as trying to get the top 1,000 in the world on leaderboards. And I was like, okay, I mean, I might give it a shot if if someone's using that or using this car for, for that purpose. It might actually, you know, be a decent car. So I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. I'm going to go ahead and try to squeeze out as many points as I possibly can with this thing. Here I should have had a lot more points by by this point, but I'm still only learning to drive this thing. It feels just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit underpowered, which is probably oh good Jesus, uh, which is probably why I think I might change my gear ratios just a little bit. But by this point I should have had about 400,000 points, so I'm a li I'm I'm a good bit behind. I'm about like 60,000 points behind. I think we have a little bit of a better tune on this thing, and maybe some. I think I might just go with thinner tires. Instead of cha changing the actual tire comp, I might just go with, I'll keep the race tires on. But I'll go with slightly thinner tires. But this is super, super smooth to drive. I really like the way this thing drives. I'm not gonna lie. It's actually really, really good. 424,000 points. It's really good to drive. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and change the tire size. Or tire width. And uh, we'll see how this thing drives. Because... I, can't, I like the way it's, uh, it's, uh, I don't even know why I pressed start. I like the way it's, it's set up right now. It's very, very simple. The front is super responsive. The suspension setup, usually, most of the time, when you have a drift setup on a car, it seems to be perfectly fine. Um, but sometimes you have to change it. But other than that, I feel like it's fine. So 215s on the front, I'll keep those 215s. And I think I'll go with the same for the rear end. I'll just do 215s for the rear. We'll drop that. A little bit and uh, yeah this should be a little bit better now uh, it'll have a little bit less grip for the rear end so I should be able to pop it into fifth gear and in fifth gear I should be able to pull myself along a little bit more uh, because it's starting the drop in in revs as I switch into fifth so it should be a little bit better now even with a, with a little bit of a clutch kick it still sort of drops uh, in fifth but other than that I think handling wise this thing is quite decent I'm gonna go ahead and mess with the tune of this thing uh, a slightly, just a little bit, just because I want to see uh, if we can get this thing to, to be a little bit better eventually, but for now. I 
There we go. Look at fifth gear. Oh, God. I'm still a little bit low on the revs when I did that. Oh, my. Oh, this is so smooth and easy to drive. Like, seriously, what a car. It's just so unexpected as well. I mean, like, look at what I'm driving. But I like that someone gave me this as a suggestion to mess around with. I have to give it a shot. And I actually, like, I actually like it. It's actually good to drive. Oh my, oh, I left it a little bit too long there. That was my fault, that was my fault. I messed that one up. That's fine. It's so easy to save. It's so easy to just extend slides and everything. It's, it's a lovely car to drive. I'm not gonna lie. See, this is much better than before, this run. I was expected to have around 300,000 points here at the very least. And I did. This is fun. This is really, really fun. Now, I'm not really going for points here as much as I as much as I want I want to. I'm not really going to try to see how many points I can actually squeeze out of this thing. It's just more about like feel and just to see how it drives. And it drives beautifully. Now, I think what I kinda wanna try and do in this video is I wanna test this thing out as an all-wheel drive. Because I know I like the way this drives as a rear wheel drive. I mean it's it's kinda fun, it's kind of interesting. Um but as an all-wheel drive, so what if I do that and then drop the tires to sports tires because then it'll be able to spin all four wheels all the time Will it be a little bit better? I feel like it might be very very interesting as as an all-wheel drive Now again, I have to change the tires though So I definitely won't be able to keep this thing on race tires So we'll keep this thing on sports tires and we'll go ahead and keep the tire with as wide as possible now Interestingly enough, it will be, wow, that actually does bring everything up a little bit more just because it's all-wheel drive, so it is a little bit better, it's supposed to be a little bit better anyway. Now, interestingly enough, I need to mess around my diff a little bit again, and then uh, other than that, I don't think I'll have to do anything. Um, oh yeah, I need to buy everything first, because I forgot what's changed all-wheel drive, everything here in the drivetrain setup has changed, because I need to... Get the fully customizable transmission and diff and all that sort of stuff because all of that has changed now from rear to all wheel drive. And, uh, right, let's see how this thing drives. Okay, so. So it takes off very, very smoothly, very quickly. Fourth gear is kind of the best gear by the looks of things for, for this car. Right now for all-wheel drive uh, drifting. Now I am going to be doing this downhill, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me uh, to drive this car. I just feel like it's slightly, slightly underpowered. That's the only thing. Oh, it shoots off really, really quick. Okay, let's see how much control do I have over it. I've changed the torque split so it's 80-20, so basically 80% of the power goes to the rear wheels, 20% to the front wheels. Wow. Oh my god. Now to just decrease your angle, all you have to do is literally just use a little bit of a of handbrake or you could just use or you could just use your steering to steer in and then a dab of the brakes when you transition. Just to mess with that weight distribution from side to side, and overall, right, let's go down to third, then into fourth, 
What is this car? Man. What is this absolute beast of a car? Oh my god, this is so good to drive. Oh, it's so smooth. What? It's super easy to transition. Like, once you get used to it and you get used to this power. Oh, it's... it's... Uh, I like, I mean... I know 484,000 points isn't technically absolutely amazing because I can get more, but... Well, like, what's the best I've gotten on this, uh... On this thing right now? Oh, okay. Well, servers are messed up. Anyway, <laughs> is it me or is it the servers? I feel like I'm online right now, but I think the servers are just really, really messed up. And I don't know how to fix that, and that is... That is a problem here on... On Forza, so yeah, hopefully they fix this soon. I really do hope so. Other than that, I like this car, man. I I think this is such a good build. If you guys want to go ahead and download the tune for this thing, I'll try to put it up as soon as the servers come back online, and you guys can check it out yourself and, and see what it's like. I think as an all-wheel drive, it's miles better. I thought as a rear-wheel drive, like as a rear-wheel drive, is very very fun to drive, but as an all-wheel drive, it's just so so easy. I haven't really changed my chain. I just ended up uh, messing with the the diff pretty much. Just locked the diff and made it so it's 80% going to the rear wheels, 80% to the power going to the rear wheels, 20% to the front. Um, and that's it. I haven't really touched this at all, like suspension wise, whatsoever, because I really like the way this thing drove as a rear wheel drive. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'll keep it like this, I'll keep the suspension set up like that. But yeah, a little Morris. A little Morris Miner that absolutely rips. It's just so unexpected. I did not expect a car like this to do that, but someone said that it's actually very good And I can see why they're using it as a, as a top 1000 car So yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to use this thing as my top 1000 car for for future videos So if you guys want to see that don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video Don't forget to like it as well, and that's pretty much it from me for now Again, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to stick around subscribe do all that sort of stuff um, But for this video, I'm done. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time Goodbye.